Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case break of 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-Box. Pick your team number 21. Ooh, it's a lot. Thanks, everybody. So for this particular break, on the 28th, 2019, David Duffy, Pirates. Last spot mojo. Thanks to him for closing out the break. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this break and helping fill it up. We've always seen some nice stuff pop out of here. This is series one poster. It's what you see right behind, right behind me. Oh man, did we post that other poster yet? No. We got a cool poster at the Tops uh, Industry Conference when we were there over the weekend. Let me see if I could. I don't know if. We've posted that yet. There's all eight boxes right there. hooked us up with this decal right here and it's, I know it's kind of hard to see but right there you can see the tops decal they gave us one of those and they gave us these they gave us these really nice posters I mean there was a huge stack of them and they gave us like poster tubes that we can put a bunch in but it's this it's probably the size of this that of this series one poster but on really nice pay I'll, I'll have to show I'll bring mine in tomorrow but it's a really nice looking poster. They have from 1951 all the way through 2019, they have a front and back of every Topps baseball card. All in a row. Which is awesome. It's a cool poster. I'm sure we'll be posting one up here at the shop. Good luck, everybody. Everyone knows about the Bowman's Best Baseball. We've busted open a ton of these cases, so. Really nice stuff. If we've done 20 cases already and sold out case 21, I think you can kind of get the idea. People like this stuff. Uh, the big news of the day, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Harper signed a 13-year, $330 million contract. Average, average annual value is definitely lower, considerably lower than Arenado and um, what Arenado extended for and what Manny Machado got. But 13 years is a long time. There's no opt-outs. I mean, as of now, people are, a lot of reporters saying there's no opt-out. And there's no uh, no opt out and no and a no trade clause, which is crazy. <laughs> Arthur Peru in the house. He's more excited about Jason Witten going back to his boys. I know he was terrible in the booth. He's no Tony Romo, Arthur, in the broadcast booth. So I liked him better as a tight end. <laughs> hey, he looked at he looked at Antonio Gates. He's like, hey, if Gates can do it, if Gates can come back. So can I. First autograph is Helio Ramos. Optimus Prime, John Prine saying that Harper is on your fight list. So yeah, the the, the size of the deal, I, I, I think the it does not surprise me. But I think the the no trade clause and the no opt outs that definitely surprised me on that deal. There's Noah Taylor for the Tribe and two Brian Dozers. That goes to Chris Garossi and the Indians. Yeah, Tony Rome was pretty great. I think he not only exceeded expectations, 
on on what he was able to do, but he continued to be great. It wasn't just like a one-off, he got lucky or whatever. Grayson Rodriguez, for the sorry, that Helio Ramos goes to the Giants. Big Boys 007, Oppo Joe Mojo, of course, Dave. Grayson Rodriguez goes to the O's, that's for Joe Babcock, Joe Mojo. There you go. But yeah, I mean, I, there's a, he has, is it, are these numbers? No, it's just an atomic word factor. It looks nice. Um, he's got a great delivery. I think that's, that's what it's all about, right? There's Brandon Marsh for the Angels, 5 out of 99. And a gold Jose Ramirez. Brandon Marsh going to the Angels. That'll be for William Cho. But yeah, it's he's just got a great smooth delivery. It's I mean, it's what makes the, some of the best broadcasters are the ones who can just who can just talk as if they were just talking to you um, at a bar, right? Just having a conversation. So it, it's him and Jim Nance, right? So, right. But anyhow, it's a, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good partnership, and like he can predict plays. Tony Romo can w w without sounding like a know it all. It's just such a smooth delivery. It's just surprising. I just didn't think. I knew he was a you know everyone has said over the years he's been a, he's a personable guy, and it doesn't necessarily make a good broadcaster. All right. Box two. Now, in more baseball news, Phillies interest in Kimbrel and Keiko. Limited short-term deals, of course. I don't think know if they can sign those guys for, for really long. Blue Jays to sign Clay Buckholtz and Bud Norris. Cardinals signed Matt Wieters. Cardinals extended uh, Miles Mikolas. Cleveland Indians signed Hanley Ramirez to a minor league deal. Rockies extending Bud Black. Yankees extended uh, Aaron Hicks. I think an under-the-radar move. Marwin Gonzalez going to the Twins. I think they're, that's going to help the Twins out a lot. So a lot going on there. Arthur saying Tony Romo next Cowboys coach? Be better than Jason Garrett. Any guesses on that redemption right there? There's Austin Riley for the Braves, 19 out of 99. And Javier Baez to 150. And Josh Stowers for the Mariners. That'll be for, who's got Seattle in this, Chris Garossi. Yeah, I don't think, Arthur, Jason Garrett didn't get extended, right? He kind of got the, we'll see how the season goes <laughs> thing. But I think he's gone. I don't think he's going to get extended. They'll just mutually part ways. I don't think he's going to get fired, per se. But unless he's short of winning a Super Bowl, um, short of winning a Super Bowl, I don't think that uh, Jason Garrett's going to get extended. The worst thing to happen, Arthur, would be to win a Super Bowl this year with Jason Garrett because then you'll be stuck with him for another 10 years. I feel a printing plate, the cool, cool metal of a printing plate, and it's an autograph. Wow. One of the White Sox's first round picks, Nick Madrigal. That's huge. It's, it is their first round pick. I think, what, four yeah, t top 10 picks? Something like that. I think he's, he's in camp, too, messing around. Daniel Patera with the Chicago White Sox. Nice socks. Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. Is your fourth autograph out of the box? Or? 
There's autograph two right there. Marlins, Nick Sanderson picked up the Marlins. Haha, <laughs> John, I just saw that, John Prine. Thought Jerry Jones was the Cowboys head coach. Best of 2018 autograph of A, Aaron Judge, Andrew Benintendi. No, Anthony Siegler for the Yankees. I forgot that he was the he was the main redemption. That goes to Mark Matson and the Yankees. N Y Y, the Bronx Bombers. All right, next box. Uh, what's everyone's, uh, since baseball season's around the corner, let's refresh everybody, refresh me and everyone in the chat, your friends in the chat, what your, what your baseball team is if any, and what you're kind of hoping for, what your expectations are this season in a sentence or two. Obviously, Dodgers fan. And a little surprised that the Dodgers didn't aggressively chase Bryce Harper and Manny Machado a little bit more, but they did pick up A.J. Pollock, which I think was great. Made some moves, got a lot of depth, got a lot of young kids coming up the ranks. I, I think they're, they're, they're thinking that they can develop the next Bryce Harper, the next Manny Machado. You know what I mean? Which it's, which is fine. Corey Seager back, I think, is going to be great. Uh, hopefully, he'll be healthy. He might not start the season, but I think within a month or two, maybe late April, he might be 100% ready to go. They don't need to push him too much. But we'll see what happens with the Dodgers. Definitely two World Series in a row. Definitely happy about that. There's Dave. Dave's the Dodgers guy. Definitely happy about that. Sad about them not winning a World Series. Could they go three World Series in a row? Man, the odds of going to two World Series in a row is difficult enough, let alone three. We'll see what happens. But I think the Dodgers are going to be well-equipped to have another strong season. And what happens in the playoffs happens, happens there. Uh, Optimus Prime, Braves fan, looking for a division title and a better NLDS. Dodgers and Braves might run into each other. Uh, and Andrew, moderate Cardinals fan. I think the Cardinals are a little, could be a little underrated this year. There's Bryce Harper. Going to be in Philadelphia for the next 13 years. There's Daniel Lynch for the Royals. Chris Garosi. Nick Sanderson's in the house. A's. Just wants... Uh, and a chance come September. Are they building that new stadium in Oakland? Or maybe south of Oakland or something like that? I think they're getting they're marching a little bit closer to a new stadium, right? Nice Ozzy Albia, speaking of the Braves. That goes to Mark Matheson. Double oh seven out of one hundred. Do 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 I would love to see the A's get into a smaller stadium, a nice cozy stadium, generate a lot of revenue from that. Show Otani. We'll have all these top loaded before they go out too. Um you know, and may, maybe spend just a little I mean they they've already proven they can get they've already proven they can they can draft and build a, a young team that could surprise some people in the regular season. I wish they just had a little extra money to just get like a to hang on to some of those players you know, maybe a maybe a free agent or two, you know and see what they could really do a new stadium might be, might be pretty helpful there's Trevor Larnock for the Twins, that goes to, who's got the Twinkies, that Eric Leal with the Twins, Kevin Manning, what's going on yeah, Arthur. What? Arthur's Arthur got his heart broken, folks. As as most of you know, with with the Diamondbacks just trading away Paul Goldschmidt, blah blah blah. 
all that stuff. So Arthur, I think, was saying a little while ago, he's saying, I'm just going to root for a player this year. and It's going to be Goldschmidt. I think he's going to crush in that Cardinals lineup. What was the uh, one of the big news? Any big signings for the uh, for the Braves? Didn't they get Josh Donaldson? Now, Josh Donaldson could be interesting on that Braves team. I wonder when the Braves are going to get a new stadium. All right, next box. Good luck. After this box, we'll be halfway through the break. Good luck. Got Rafael Devers to 250. This will be a big name of the hobby this year in 2019 product. And there's Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles. George Springer to 99. Joe Babcock with the O's. It's your first auto right there. Power Producers, Aaron Judge to 50. Keston Hiura. It's a big prospect for the Brewers. Darren McKenzie, DMAC with the Brew Crew. He might be up, he might be called up sooner than we think. Great middle infielder. Could hit a little bit too. Nice. Or that's our second autograph there. Brewers, Aaron McKenzie. And we've got gold, Hunter Green, two out of 50 for the Red Legs, David Duffy. Nice, Dave. We met him uh, two years ago at the Tops Industry Conference. California kid as well, SoCal. Should be one more autograph. And it's going to be Ryan Carl Weathers. I don't know if Carl is his middle name. I hope it is. And that'll be for Arthur Hackett and the San Diego Padres. So there's your four. Next box. For Joe, Joe Babcock is an Orioles fan. He's he's saying anything better than anything better than last year. Might be a rough year for the for the Orioles. box rolling along after this we've got a quick uh break of mosaic basketball and we can do another mosaic basketball tonight as well if you'd like well, it looks like we only see one order coming in but if you want to get another group break going we only have a few options i'm afraid everyone was selling everything out and we've got a big new release tomorrow to look forward to so i don't think we'll be adding any more tonight but we do have the last four boxes of Prism Mosaic Basketball, if you want to get into that. Only $24.99 for a random team, 21 of 23 spots left. 2018 Topps Tribute Baseball, our final two boxes of that case. Also available, 14 teams left, almost in single digits. And last but not least, we've got 2019 
brand new Topps Heritage Baseball personal boxes. Um, if you still have the itch to break but don't feel like waiting around for a group break, you can definitely get into some Heritage Baseball. Personal box. Everything ships, of course. There's Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Chris Garossi. Uh We start at around 3 o'clock Pacific tomorrow, depending on Los how Los Angeles traffic treats me on Friday. But I'll be shooting for that. And then we'll be diving right into... Uh, diving right into... Our first break, which is already sold out. Pick your team one. There's Jared Kalanick. Jared Kalanick from the Milwaukee area. So our Wisconsin crew is really into, into this kid. He's on the Mets. Chris Garros. Actually, it'll go to the Mets, Chris. You'll still get that one. But he was traded to the Mariners, I think. In the Cano deal? There's Justin Verlander, 250. Um, that goes to the Astros. Liam with that one. And little Dodger Joe Mojo, 41 out of 99. Kybert Ruiz. That goes to David Bruins and my Dodgers. One of their top catching prospects. That's the reason why they didn't re-sign Yasmani Grandal, who's a free agent. And he, was, he could have been part of the trade that would have uh, brought JT Real Muto to L.A., but they didn't want to give him up. So there he is. Uh, I did Mosaic 1 already. Mosaic 2 is going to happen right after this break. The Mosaic 1 video is already up, Daniel. We've got a redemption back here behind Anthony Rizzo. And the redemption is going to be, bam, Bryce Turing. Best of 2018 autograph. Bryce Turing for the Brew Crew. DMAC, Darren McKenzie. So that's one, two, three, four from that box. Three boxes to go, 12 autos to go. Good luck, everybody. I feel like it's been a minute or two since we've seen a, uh, well, we got the printing plate, right? But it's been a minute or two since we've seen like a, a super fractor. Got three boxes to go. Let's see what happens. Denver Nuggets looking like they don't want to cover the spread. They're playing with a lot of energy. Utah are on a back-to-back. -back. Uh -oh. Good luck, everybody. luck folks next four autographs we got early indication Esteban Floriel to 50 and we got Alec Thomas for the diamond backs Chris Garosi with the snakes Autograph number one from the box. And another Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. Great break for the White Sox, Daniel Patera. He didn't have much money, but he did 
Nice. Actually, that's our second autograph right there. Third autograph is Cole Huynh for the Rangers. Clay Franklin with Texas. There's Luis Robert, another nice White Sox. And Aaron Judge, orange to 25. Nice. So the Judge going to the Yankees, of course, Mark Matheson. Nice Luis Robert for Daniel Patera and the White Sox. Great break for the White Sox. So there's your four right there. Two boxes to go. Eight autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. This is pick your team number 21. After this, Mosaic. After that, I'm not sure what we're doing after that. A pretty solid break so far. Eight autographs to go. Let's see what else we got here. At the Tops Industry Conference, they let us know that, um, speaking of Bowman's Best, they're bringing back Bowman Sterling. So I think they're they're putting a they're putting Bowman High Tech Baseball on the shelf this season, and they're bringing back Bowman Sterling. which should be pretty cool. We got Bruce R. Great Oral for the Twins, Eric Leal with the Twinkies, Twin Cities. Andrew asking, were there any football license talk at the Tops Conference? No, but I specifically asked one of the executives there when I was hanging out with them at Top Golf. I said, hey, football? You guys gonna get that back? And the answer was, we'd love to have it back, but they won't get a crack at it for another four or five years. I think the license runs for another four or five years. So that's what I was told. There's Alec Thomas, another Alec Thomas for the Dimebacks. Chris Garosi with that. The uh, Tops did extend their um, exclusive with with Major League Baseball though until through uh, 2025, I believe. There's Brandon McKay, future two-way player right there out of 250 for the Rays. There's Nolan Arenado, just signed a big extension to 150. And Tristan Houses, Tristan Casas for Andrew Herman and the Boston Red Sox. Nice. All right, 
Last box, last four autographs. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for joining the break. Let's see what we get. Train whistle, perhaps? All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. I'm running out of steam a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gotta get ready for tomorrow. All right. Josh Stowers, Mariners, Chris Garosi. And Matt Libertor for the Tampa Bay Rays is autograph number two. That's Chris Garosi. Chris having a nice break. We'll save some of those Otanis. We got Ethan Hankins for the Indians. That goes to Chris Garosi and the Tribe. He's got the first three. Will he, will he get the clean sweep? Joe Adele, Angels. William Cho with that one. So Chris gets three out of four. William with his second Joe Adele. I believe that was his second. One of the Angels' top prospects right there. Very nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Javier Baez, a 250, and Otani. That is that. Any randomizers to? No, nothing. Thank you very much, everyone. That was Pick Your Team 21, Bowman's Best Baseball. That's our last case for the time being, but I'm sure we'll try to dig up some more. These always do well, so if we find some more cases, we'll get them. Keep checking back on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one.